Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 2 of chapter Multiples and Factors. In this part 2, we will learn what are factors, how to find factors of a number and how to find common factors. So let's start and first understand factors. Factors of a number are the numbers which divide it completely, that is, remainder equals to 0. Let's take an example, 4 into 3 equals to 12. Here, 4 as well as 3 divide 12 completely, therefore, 4 and 3 are the factors of 12. Let's take another example, 5 into 6 equals to 30. Here, 5 as well as 6 divide 30 completely. Therefore, 5 and 6 are factors of 30. Let's understand factors through an activity. These are 36 apples. Can you divide these 36 apples in a group of 3 such that no apple is left behind? So, let's make groups of 3 apples and we find that there is no apple left behind. Students, this means 3 divides 36 completely as remainder is 0. Therefore, 3 is a factor of 36. Now, can we divide these 36 apples in a group of 4 such that no apple is left behind? So, let's make groups of 4 apples and we find that there is no apple left behind. This means 4 divides 36 completely as remainder is 0. Therefore, 4 is also a factor of 36. Now, can we divide these apples in group of 5 such that no apple is left behind? Let's make groups of 5 apples and we find that there is one apple left behind. This means 5 does not divide 36 completely as remainder is 1. Therefore, students, 5 is not a factor of 36. Now, students, can we divide these apples in group of 6 so that no apple is left behind? Let's make groups of 6 apples and we find that there is no apple left behind. This means 6 divides 36 completely as remainder is 0. Therefore, 6 is also a factor of 36. So students, you must have understood that factors of a number are the numbers which divide the number completely with remainder equals to 0. Now, let's Understand the properties of factors. First property of factors is 1 is a factor of all numbers because 1 divides all the numbers completely. Second property is 1 is the smallest factor of a number because 1 divides all the numbers completely and 1 is the smallest number. Therefore, 1 is the smallest factor of a number. Next property is a number is a factor of itself because every number divides itself completely. Now, fourth property of factors is a number itself is the greatest factor of itself. To understand this property, let's see the factors of 4. Factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. Students, we will learn how to find factors of a number in a short while. Here in this example, the greatest factor is 4, which is the number itself. Let's take one more example. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Again, the greatest factor is 6, which is the number itself. Next property is factors of a number are smaller than or equal to number. 
students since the greatest factor is the number itself all other factors would be smaller than the number for example in case of factors of 4 factors 1 2 and 4 are smaller than or equal to the number 4 similarly in case of factors of 6 factors 1 2 3 and 6 are smaller than or equal to number 6 and the last property of factors is every number except 1 has at least two factors because one has only one factor which is 1 and all the other numbers have at least two factors like for number 3 it has two factors 1 and 3 so students these were the six properties of factors now let's revise these properties through an exercise first is 5 into 7 equals to 35 therefore 5 and 7 are factors of 35 next is 8 into 6 equals to 48 Therefore, factors of 48 are 8 and 6. Next part is the smallest factor of 30 is dash. It is 1 because students we learn that property that 1 is the smallest factor of all the numbers. Now next is dash is a factor of all numbers. 1 is a factor of all numbers. Fifth is Dash is the biggest factor of 40. 40 is the biggest factor of 40 because we learned that a number itself is the greatest factor of itself. And the last one is dash has only one factor. One has only one factor. Now let's understand how to find factors using multiplication. Question one is. find the factors of 24 to find the factors of 24 we will start writing from table 1 so 1 into 24 equals to 24 next in the table of 2 2 into 12 equals to 24 in the table of 3 3 into 8 equals to 24 in the table of 4 4 into 6 equals to 24 now 24 does not come in the table of 5 or we can say 24 is not divisible by 5 and in the table of 6 it is 6 into 4 equals to 24 but we have already covered it as 4 into 6 equals to 24 students we have to find factors until we start getting the same factors like 4 into 6 equals to 6 into 4 so it means we have found all the factors and therefore we will stop at 4 into 6 therefore students factors of 24 are start writing from top to bottom 1 2 3 4 and now write from bottom to top 6 8 12 and 24 Question number 2 is find the factors of 25. To find the factors of 25, we will start writing from table 1. 1 into 25 equals to 25. Next, 25 does not come in the table of 2. It does not come in the table of 3 4. Now, in the table of 5, 5 into 5 equals to 25. Now students please note both the factors here are same so we will stop here therefore factors of 25 are 1 5 and 25 next question is find the factors of 44 so we will start writing from table 1 1 into 44 equals to 44 next in the table of 2 2 into 22 equals to 44 now 44 does not come in the table of 3 students you can check it by dividing 44 by 
3. Next in the table of 4, 4 into 11 equals to 44. Now students, 44 does not come in the table of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And in the table of 11, it is 11 into 4 equals to 44. Students note that we have started getting the same factors. 4 into 11 equals to 11 into 4. So, we will stop at 4 into 11. Therefore, factors of 44 are 1, 2, 4, 11, 22 and 44. Now, let's see how to find factors using division. Question is, find the factors of 18 using division. Students, to find factors using division, we will start dividing numbers by 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, to find factors of 18, let's first divide 18 by 1 and we get remainder as 0. Therefore, 1 and 18 are factors of 18. Now divide 18 by 2 and again we get remainder as 0. Therefore, 2 and 9 are also factors of 18. Next, divide 18 by 3 and we get remainder as 0. Therefore, 3 and 6 are also factors of 18. Now students, divide 18 by 4 and we get remainder as 2. So, 4 is not the factor of 18. Now, let's divide 18 by 5 and we get remainder as 3. Therefore, 5 is not the factor of 18. Next, divide 18 by 6 and we get factors as 6 and 3. But students, we have already got these two factors. So, we will stop and won't divide further. Therefore, factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Next question is, find the factors of 35 using division. To find factors of 35 using division, let's first divide 35 by 1. And we get remainder as 0. Therefore, 1 and 35 are factors of 35. Now divide 35 by 2. And we get remainder as 1. Therefore, 2 is not the factor of 35. Next, divide 35 by 3. And we get remainder as 2. Therefore, 3 is also not the factor of 35. Now, divide 35 by 4 and we get remainder as 3. So, 4 is not the factor of 35. Let's move on and divide 35 by 5 and we get remainder as 0. Therefore, 5 and 7 are factors of 35. Next divide 35 by 6 and we get remainder as 5. Therefore, 6 is not a factor of 35. Now students, let's divide 35 by 7 and we get factors as 7 and 5. But we have already got these two factors. So we will stop and won't divide further. Therefore, Factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7 and 35. Next question is, find out if 4 is a factor of 48. To find out if 4 is a factor of 48, divide 48 by 4. And if the remainder comes out to be 0, then 4 is a factor of 48. So, let's divide 48 by 4. 4 into 1 
equals to 4 and 4 minus 4 equals to 0. Copy 8. Now 4 into 2 equals to 8 and 8 minus 8 equals to 0. Therefore students we have got remainder as 0. So answer is since 48 is divisible by 4 so 4 is a factor of 48. Next question is find out if 6 is a factor of 2352. To find out if 6 is a factor of 2352, let's divide and see if remainder is 0. 6 into 3 equals to 18 and 23 minus 18 equals to 5. Copy next digit 5. Now 6 into 9 equals to 54 and 55 minus 54 equals to 1. Copy next digit 2. 6 into 2 equals to 12 and 12 minus 12 equals to 0. So remainder is 0. Therefore answer is since 2352 is divisible by 6. So 6 is a factor of 2352. So students you can find the factors of any given number using multiplication or division. Now let's learn how to find common factors. A number that is factor of two or more numbers is called common factor. For example, let's find the common factors of 18 and 27. Factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Factors of 27 are 1, 3, 9 and 27. So first common factor is 1. Second common factor is 3. And third common factor is 9. So students, common factors of 18 and 27 are 1, 3 and 9. Question is, Find the common factors of 42 and 63. First, let's find the factors of 42 using multiplication technique which we have already learned. Similarly, find the factors of 63. Now, factors of 42 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21 and 42. And factors of 63 are 1, 3, 7, 9, 21 and 63. So common factors of 42 and 63 are 1, 3, 7 and 21. So our answer is common factors of 42 and 63 are 1, 3, 7 and 21. So students, in this video, we learned what are factors and their properties, how to find factors of a given number using multiplication and division, and how to find common factors of given numbers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.